Okay, well I started at the beginning of the group uh, a few uh, weeks ago now uh, with a degree of trepidation because I'm not a team player and, um, <clears throat> and wondered a bit what I was there for because I knew we had a purpose and that purpose was to uh, create a, a respiratory pathway in Penzance but I couldn't quite work out what that had to do uh, with um, a leadership course. Uh, the two didn't really correlate to me. Uh, but as time has gone on, I've uh, begin, begun to appreciate that in fact, I'm not really a sole player and I do quite enjoy the comfort of uh, a team around me. And that's really uh, shown itself today in the, in the activities we've done today. And I've discovered that I'm taking what I'm learning, the uh, business of leadership, out of here and applying it in my um, uh, group exercises uh, for the breathers. In fact, I'm beginning to uh, play quite heavily on what I'm learning and it's having an effect within the breathers group. Um, <clears throat> the object of the exercise here uh, is to um, come up with this pathway and I've discovered over the last three or four meetings that there is a huge amount of empathy for what they're doing, the professionals, uh, but there's also a great expectation that they're not going to do anything i.e. Uh, they've tried before and failed. Um, but they aren't going to fail this time. Uh, we've got too much experience around the table. Uh, we are already planning uh, breathers groups in the areas that they're talking about. Uh, we had hoped that first breathers group would start this month, this month, but there's been a hiccup, so that's a month delayed, probably two months. Um, but we should keep pushing and pushing until there is indeed a respiratory pathway that is so helpful to people like us who have got COPD. Uh, they are so important, uh, both in terms of um, education, in terms of exercise, in terms of um, physical, therefore, and uh, mental well-being. Uh, socialization, uh, social isolation is not something that um, uh, we'll have anything to do with within the breathers groups. Um, uh, so we are absolutely committed, not just now to the King's Fund operation and what we can get out of it personally, uh, but what we can put into it as a group. And I very much look forward to becoming part and parcel of a longer term pulmonary care uh, project in West Cornwall.